What is going on, everybody? Uh, we're here to talk about Fibonacci retracement, how we can use that to increase our investment potential. And for me to tell you, I'm not a financial advisor. It's not my place to give you financial advice. You would need to seek a financial advisor for that. But I am also on YouTube. So I'm going to show you what I do. And if you start looking up online and seeing the positions and the things that you're looking for, I'm going to show you what I do. I'm going to show you what mine looks like. And if you think that uh, it's something that that you would agree with or that you would like to do, then you are free to try it out to your own leisure. I would recommend highly that you engage in paper trading and never take what I say as financial advice. Because I state again, I am not a financial advisor. I am able to advise myself and I am able to come onto YouTube and kind of broadcast myself doing what I do. And I'm going to show you the tricks and tips that I use. But today we're just going to start off with Fib Retracement. Before we get started, if you like this content, make sure you hit the like button, the subscribe button, the bell to be notified of future content. If you like this content. If you don't, just hit the dislike button and tell me down in the comment section that you think I'm completely off my rocker. That's okay too. But I'm going to show you some charts. We're going to look at Fib Retracement. We're going to see what the numbers are. And I'm going to preface this by saying that <clears throat> there is no magic number. You will hear me talking about the golden ratio. That's 0.618 to 0.786. And, and I'm going to refer to that as, as kind of a golden pocket, which creates, generally speaking, a fairly strong bounce when you see a, a bold move. And we'll talk about a few of these things. So for now, strap yourself in and uh, let me show you. I've, I've taken the liberty of just kind of emptying out these charts a little bit, taking some of the stuff off of it. And I'm going to start with this is Bitcoin on an hourly chart. And the cool thing about Fib Retracement is Fib Retracement works on the question, generally speaking, for you as an investor or me as an investor would be, uh, how much is the fee for the transaction? Because what I've got to do, not only uh, if I'm if I'm scalping or if I'm I'm doing some swings here, I want to make sure that my fees are well below what my profit level is. So to give you an example here, I'm going to use a fib retracement. Now, I would not use I would use a fib retracement on a trend, but I need to establish what direction that trend is going. So for example, when I see this. That's a downward trend. So anything that I'm doing is in a short position based on a Fib retracement on the way down could reverse at any time and may not work. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to do this on a specific idea and a principle. So I'm going to take a Fib retracement. Uh, we're going to get away from this and we're going to go for this one because this looks like it's an upward trend. I see this moving in an upward direction. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the point of movement. This is when is this move sort of started? And that's going to be this candle getting eaten up right here. I'm going to click down here and then I'm going to go all the way up here and I'm going to find the, the rate and the spot in which, bang, I hit the top of that move. Now, there is an argument to be made and I will show you uh, if you come down here, there's the end of the first move. Uh, there's the end of the second move and then there's the end of the third and final move. Now, each one of those actually corresponds, and I'll show you that real quick. We'll even zoom in just a little bit more so you can see this. But so let's say you're you're trying to find an entry position, and you've seen a token launch, and it's off on a run like this. Now your question is, what is your entry position? Well, first of all, don't FOMO at the top because that makes no sense whatsoever. But let's go back down here. You've you've made the move, you've made the move, and then everything stopped right here, right? So now there's some sell-off starting to happen. Where does it go? Well, it comes down to the 0.618 line. Now, what you're doing when you're watching this, is several things. You're looking for a place in which you start to see a wick like this start to develop. Now, your buying is not going to take place on necessarily one of these lines. What you're looking for is a signal to tell you. So, for example, if you get into this position up here and you see this wick starting to develop here, then you're thinking that this is a position for me to enter as a short. Uh, then it's going to come down most likely to this 0.382 level, 0 0.50, 0 0.68, maybe even down to the 0.786 level. Now, there, all of these levels, by the way, uh, are just as likely to have a bounce as any other. 
it really, it's really hard to, to gauge sometimes. So the principle here is you're not looking for it to land at 0.38 because if you were looking, for example, for a move to 0.38 and you had decided for yourself that this is the move that you're going for in this particular move and you set yourself a buy order at 0.38, well, guess what? You lost or you, you didn't make the right move here. You set your buy because you were sure it was going to happen and then it just kept coming down. So the point is you should be very careful when you're doing this and you should be active when you're doing it. And I'll show you on the longer time frames how you can be a little less active and you can just set yourself a buy order. Again, we're talking about swings. Uh, we're talking about scalps at this point, but you come down and, and you just let it, you let it ride. And then you see this, this, this is a wick. Now, so what this means is that you've entered this, this, this thing has entered a position in which there's a lot of buy pressure and that means that buyers have stepped in and they've buyed, they, they started to buy at this price or in this price range. And that should be a signal that the price is going to continue up because you have a positive move and then you follow it with a retracement and it comes down to uh, one of your normal levels, which in this case, it happens to be the 618 level, as you can see, kind of a little obscured right now, but you can see it right there. Uh, so you, you hit the 618 level. And, and you see it reverse. Well, that is a buy opportunity. Now, the important thing to do is to understand this could still come down. You could still see this move continue on down to this range or down even further by sentiment. But what you're looking for is during a positive move, this is the first break on a positive move. So what you get happening here is a move down here into your levels. Uh, your levels are going to be your 0 0.38, 0 0.5, 0 0.618, 0.786 on this Fib retracement. And now, boom, now you're going you're gonna to set yourself a buy position uh, right here. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to hold on to it. And you're going to wait for that next move to that next Fib level. Now, uh, we're going to move this up just for a second here and just kind of show you what happened here. So we got that move. And now what we're looking for is we're looking for it to play out again. So now we're going to move it up here and we're going to stop it right there. And now you can see that it's bouncing off of the 3A2 level, but you can also, because you'll, you'll notice there's some, some symmetry to this, you can drop this over here at the next parabolic move. And guess what? Now you're right in that 0.5 level. So what happened was you had this big move up here, right? Now you start to see a little wicking up here. What do you do? Now you sell or you reverse your position. And you can short that position if you want to take yourself back down. You're taking yourself back down into this range right here. Basically, if you're spot trading, you're going to buy here. You're going to sell here. You're going to wait for the retracement here. You're going to look for this little wicking right here. Now you're going to buy in, uh, let me zoom in here, uh, just so you can see as an idea on this candle. So most probably you're not going to buy right here. Very few people ever buy right there and get it right. That's that's just the pie in the sky dream. What you're looking to do is you're looking to see a nice big wick happening and then you want some green, you want some upside. Now you're going to enter into a new position. You're 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 going to want to be in this range here because that makes sense for a continuation. You're still in a bullish pattern. You've just retraced a couple of times. Is it going to continue? If you think it's going to continue, then you enter your position here and guess what? You want it again, and it went up, and now uh, you're going to wait for it to wick out again, and you're going to take your profit, and you're not going to you're not going to sell right here. You're probably going to sell in this little range right here because you're going to see it start to come back down. But you also know at that point it's about to retrace. That's what the retracement is all about. So now we're going to go over here, and again, if you can just go from here to here and finish the entire parabolic move. And by the way. Moving this around to each one of these levels is just not necessary because once you start to move this and put, just put it into certain areas, you'll notice that you trend back and forth all the time. Now, what you did over here was you went from this level up to this level, but we've gone from this level and come back down to test this level right here. Now you found a consolidation area and you would have reason to think, that it's going to start going sideways from this move. So this is not the spot where you're going to enter, or if you're going to enter, then be aware that you've come back down to the same level that you just retested, and most probably you're going to go sideways. Now that allows for the market to change its sentiment. Maybe it's going to go up, maybe it's going to go down. If you've decided that you think it's going to go up and you've bought again, 
then uh, in this instance, you get real lucky because you see a nice little run happening right here. So again, you start to see some wicking at the top and now you're going to sell your position and you're waiting for it to come back down. But now you want to see what does that fib retracement look like here? Well, we've had some consolidation. So that fib retracement's done. Now you're going to want to come over here and you want to go from the parabolic move, which is right here. And you want to do it all the way up here. So now and you're going to it's 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 an art. It's not a science. So you're going to take it from the top right there. Now, if I'm looking at this and I'm looking at Bitcoin, it would be my inclination that Bitcoin is probably coming back down because that parabolic move has stopped and it's slowed down right here. Now we've got a few hours of this come down one more time. Now you're seeing a lot more red, which means that we've entered an area of resistance, which you can see over here. We, we found a spot where there's a lot of trading volume. So what we're going to do is we're going to wait most likely to see some nice upward wicking. And by the way, you see it right now. Uh, put that back. Uh, you see it right now. We're going to lock that. Uh, at the bottom of this wick. And is that enough to tell you that we're going to continue upward? And for me, that's not. So I'm going to miss this. If this, if we happen to go into the positive right now, and I've got that nice little wick right there. And you know what I've meant here is a doji candle, which means that there's a lot of bears and bulls fighting in both directions right now. You can see up here, there's some candle and down here or wick. And down here is some wick. And right in the middle is a tiny little uh, fill. And uh, that 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 tiny little fill candle, is, it just means that there's a fight. What it represents is we don't know what direction it's going to go. So now we're just waiting to see what the move is. If you look at it now, it suddenly changed green, which means that the bulls are taking a temporary advantage, but we don't know which direction. So this would not be something that I'm going to enter. I'm going to wait until it comes down a little bit more. And I'm going to be looking for a move down to this range. Now, mind you, I got these wicks up here. I already sold. I don't have any skin in the game. I'm not holding for a pie in the sky. I'm just trying to do scalp trading. By the way, this is different than your long trading. So I'm trying to move this position. I'm waiting for it to come down into this range. I know that this is a strong bounce region at 0.382. I know that it's a strong bounce region at 0.5 and 0.618. So those are the numbers that I'm looking for right now. I'm looking for a, a retracement of some sort down into those levels. Now, let me also take a move here and say that it still looks like we're in the positive, but I'm going to do one more uh, solid on you. And that is, remember, we had this, we had this wick, it came back down. Now, if I look at this, then I got a feeling or I get a sense anyway, that we're probably going to look at See how it came down to the 0 0.382 right there? If I take that top right there, uh, then that means I can take this down here and now the parabolic move suddenly becomes uh, a little bit different here. We're going to move that back up there and we're going to look at this and we're going to call it from here, which is uh, where the move came from right there. And now look, we're on the 0 0.382 line and not nearly as in the middle as we would before. So that's why you might see a little bit of fight going on in this range. But, you know, of course, as you can see, that, that candle starting to move down, there's still a fight in this range. So the question becomes, you know, what level do we end up entering back into our position at? And I know I've kind of rambled here and, and moved around just a little bit, but I think you guys are getting the idea that what we're doing is we're trying to play the, each individual level uh, to the positive advantage. Now you have to decide what your risk loss and your risk tolerance is. If you say you put in a thousand dollars right here, if I'm, if I'm gonna do a thousand dollars and it doesn't start going up and it starts going down and I wanted it to go up, well, I, I could take a loss. I could decide that, you know, if it goes down enough that I lose 50 bucks, then I'm just going to get out of it. So you make a decision for, for you know, if you're if you're going to do some investing, then you make a decision on what your risk tolerance is. And it's OK to lose money. Uh, protecting your capital is paramount. So, you know, if you have a thousand dollars and you lose fifty dollars, you still have nine hundred and fifty. But if you have a thousand dollars and you lose fifty and you hold on because you think that maybe just maybe it's going to just continue uh, to reverse and then you just watch it continue to go down and down and down and down. It will reverse, okay? But if you bought right here, then the standard reversal here is going to be two lines, and it's going to come up to here. 
or it might come up to here and you're going to feel good about it because you got a nice little three wick move and you're going to say, Ooh, here we go. We're going up baby. But all you're doing is entering yourself back in the position that you were in and you're still at break even. And all of this time has lapsed. You're trying to make good move, not protect your win, if that makes sense. So, um, you guys, it's, it's very easy. So the other part is, uh, this thing plays out the same way, pretty much in reverse. The whole premise and the whole idea here is to play each one of these individual levels and start to look at what works for you. Because to be fair, anything can happen. Uh, if we look at this sort of parabolic move right here, this dump, uh, and we put a reverse fib on it and we go from the parabolic move all the way down, uh, you can see right here, we wicked all the way down to the 618 and then re retook 23.6 before coming down even further. And then we came down to the one level and then came back up to the 0.618. You see there's capital and there's money to be made up and down and up and down. And then we just absolutely capitulated. But at this point, uh, that was a reversal, a trend reversal. And that's what you're looking for is a trend reversal. And when you see that trend reversal, and by that, I mean, the price was going down. Now we're looking at a trend reversal of the price going back up. Now we're just going to exit our position. We're going to take our winnings, which hopefully you got over here and you took your profit on down here. And then we're just going to let the, the, we're just going to let it flow. And we're going to wait for that first move here. And then we're going to let it come back down here and we're going to enter a position here. And hopefully we get that win right there. So basically fib retracement is all about finding a level that you're comfortable. 0 0.38, uh, 0 0.23, 0 0.236, 0 0.5, uh, I'm sorry, 0 0.236, 0 0.382, 0 0.5, 0 0.618, and 0.786 are the most popular of them. And those are the ones that I just, I've erased everything else off of mine except zero and one, uh, which is my start and my end. And I, I just use those. And that seems to serve me pretty well. So uh, I would recommend that if you ever decide you're going to do this, maybe paper trade for a little while, you know, set yourself up with some buys uh, at that level that you think, and then, you know, test it yourself. See if you're in tune with this fib retracement. And remember, these are about movements and they work. It works on every chart. It works on a one minute chart. It works on a one hour chart. It works on a one day chart. Doesn't matter what chart you're looking at. It will work on all of them. So again, if you're scalping, you want to use five, 15 minutes. Uh, if you're doing just your day swing trading, 30 minute and one hour, it's going to be your confirmation, two hour. Uh, if you need it, maybe a four hour if you're looking to, to close. Um, and then, uh, on it, and then if you're going longer term daily or weekly, it all works the same way. All you have to do is just apply it and it will work for you. But let me know what you think in the comments down below. I know I got a little wordy on this, but you know, I'm looking at the, I, I look at these things all day long. And these are the things that I really like talking about. Even when people are like, you don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, I do. That's why I've been right all this time about what Bitcoin is going to do. I've been giving you the numbers. Did I say 50,000 and we only got 49,000? Yeah, but I'm the only person that was telling you it was going to be 50,000. You guys remember me on Crypto Crossfire telling you this six months ago, and here we are today. So um, this is not financial advice. My name is Blaze. I'm always right. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate each and every one of you, and we'll talk to you again very, very soon. Cryptonomy giveaway is done. If you won, it is in your wallet right now. So if you won, let me know, uh, leave a comment, uh, reach out to me, let me know that you have been a winner. But I want to let you know that on my uh, transactions so far, uh, we've done uh, quite a few little deposits here. Don't want to focus on the fix because that's going to be a very long time or the flexible, my, my apologies. Uh, but I do want to look at the fixed ones right now. And I want to look at uh, each one of the deposits that we've made over here. Uh, my Solana deposit, which we did just a couple of days ago, uh, you can already see my scheduled interest is going to be 26 Solana. Uh, right now, that's going to be about $2,600 uh, for this, this hold. Now, this hold is for one year, but I only put in 26 Solana. I'm getting 26 Solana back out. Uh, with my Tether, uh, the, the, the race is a little bit different, but $2,589. Uh, pretty good results, pretty good uh, amounts here all the way down the line, especially with Bitcoin. Uh, I'm going to uh, schedule to earn 0.08 off of my shortest term uh, play over here and then 0.037 uh, and then uh, 0.012. Pretty good return rates overall. So if you haven't already, uh, certainly go check that out. And finally, the launch pool. Guys, the launch pool has been so good to me uh, so far. Really allowed me to expand my position 
um, a lot. This has been uh, really a lifesaver. You guys know what happened here, but my accrued interest to date so far, $28,471. So uh, I, it, it's, this has been, uh, th this has been fantastic. Uh, this doesn't end by the way, until November 21 of 2024. I am locked in. Each one of these is accruing interest for me, but uh, lifesaver. So uh, check out cryptonomy.finance. It's not financial advice.